Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life. Well, it is the last few legs. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Last few legs. <laughs> uh, it's, it's like I'm nearing the end of the uh, this particular period of, of time, but it's not necessarily it's not not necessarily so. Um, it is four hours and seventeen minutes into the 29th day of September two thousand twenty-one. I'm in one of those uh, uh, altered states once again. It's a bizarre feeling because you really don't know exactly wh what you're feeling. The 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 mood is uh, is mixed and very random. Ugh. The closest I could sort of think to think out of it is there's sort of, sort of like a a four a.m. Uh, FOMO or three a.m. FOMO because it started at three o'clock in the morning. My feeling started at three o'clock in the morning. I mean, you know, everybody else is asleep, but you wonder what other, what other people are doing. It's sort of like you want to, you know, call up, uh, you know, someone and say, you know, one of your friends or something like that, and say, "Hey, what are you doing?" <laughs> you know, just sort of, you know, what you doing, and just kind of inquiring as to what's going on over there. And uh, of course, if you did that, uh, actually did that, you'd be waking people up, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it still goes through the mind uh, at the same time as you're remembering things from your past and in my case from my childhood uh, it's uh, getting near Halloween time and uh, as the days are shortening uh, you think back and for me my life really hasn't changed that much it's sort of the same thing uh, particularly since I'm studying the way I'm doing the research, it's it's starting. Uh, things are picking up. They're not they're not slowing down. They're picking up. They're, uh the research is falling into its place. Uh, I'm doing a deeper dive. Yeah, okay, I've lost the scooting, but I would have lost the scooting within a month anyways. Uh, because the weather would get so bad, there's no way. There's no, oh. You couldn't scoot in that weather anyways. You couldn't use the scooter in that weather. So, um, basically, without the scooter for about a month uh, uh, on the sort of... Well, it could have been scooting, but uh, uh, that will resolve itself next year when uh, I'm getting a new scooter. And I'm also going to use the old scooter to set up a repair shop so I can do uh, repair for electric vehicles. Uh, I find it easier to do repair my own stuff. You know, th I get the stuff cheap from China. But one of the drawbacks is that you learn have to learn how to take care of it. You have to learn how to do the maintenance and repair. And, of course, if you need to do upgrades, you can do the upgrades as well. Because once you've learned how to do repair and maintenance, uh, you can then do uh, hardware hacking. That's what it basically is. And you can do the hardware hacking uh, uh, with your machine shop, uh, that's what I'll be sort of fixing up in in the back warehouse, fixing up the machine shop so that it's got room for the electric vehicles. But that means there's a lot of cleaning work left to do. Uh, I still have a mess load of work left to do in terms of the cleaning. But I'm also uh, now that I haven't been gaming in terms of. Uh, Lord's Mobile anymore, I've been doing work on the QLARP, uh, the, uh, the fatigue that I would have been feeling is now starting to pop in, because I'm, I'm able to get more rest, I don't have to work on the same time schedule that I did when I was doing, uh, Lord's Mobile, I'm not towards, I'm not in the, um, in the same sense of time schedule that I, I was in. Uh, for for the gaming, so it's a, it's a it's a different time reference. And anyways, uh, you know, as so it it, it as that that pressure comes off, it allows my body to relax more. Because the stress of that game is off, and so my body is now readjusting to that. I do have other pressures with QLARP. QLARP brings in other uh, other aspects of the thing. And I'm playing one more game uh, that uh, is not quite 
ready to be disclosed yet. I always, uh, um, I am the essential nerd. I am very much like uh, Ali, and in, in many cases, even somewhat like Danielle of the Yowie Vlogs, although she does have my name. Uh, in terms of a person, uh, I, I live online as Cyborg Alpha. Cyborg Alpha is a, a, the uh, uh, cyborg that I've been working as part of my artificial intelligence pro artificial intelligence project. Uh, so that's my that's why it's our life as Cyborg Alpha. Uh, cyborg Alpha is always the eternal child, always an infant tween. But that's because a large chunk of what, what, what large chunk of what I'm doing. Uh, if you're on the path of infinite knowledge, you never actually approach it any closer than middle school. Middle school is where it is, and that's that's where I'm at right now. And I'm never going to be leaving middle school. It's always going to be that type of feeling. So, uh, years ago, I decided, well, if this is the case, then the, I'm going to live like 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 a tween. I'm going to live like a have the lifestyle of a, a middle schooler. And so that's kind of the way I exist. And well, there's behind me. There's the nerdy stuff, the stuffed animals, and so on and so forth. Uh, but there's always new products popping up. There's always new ways of looking at things. Uh, and I, I, I approach it, all of it, from the, game, from the gaming aspect of LARP, live-action role-play. And I find that this, this is... You would think it would be un quite unusual, but the thing is, if you look at the work that's being done at Davos, and that's what I've looked at... Uh, the whole issue of Davos. And Davos is, is the exact same thing. It's nothing more than a LARP. They're doing these scenarios. What, well, what's the scenario? Well, that's a LARP. Live action role play. So there's no difference between what they're doing and what nerds do uh, on a regular basis. So <laughs> um, they might as well be just dressing up as their very favorite characters and going to an anime con or, or a comic con. You know? <laughs> it's the same thing. It just... Uh, just just different levels of self-importance, that's all. Anyways, uh, I'm going back to uh, my YouTube show. Uh, I'm now at uh, uh, Family 5 Vlogs. I was just just now leaving uh, It's Our Life and heading over to uh, uh, Family 5 Vlogs. I, was, I also went to buy the Leroy's as well, so... Anyways, uh, we'll see how far we get uh, for this session. Uh, I do. I'm a, I am expecting a package, so you will be getting a package opening uh, sometime later today, and then we'll go from there. So we'll see you probably in that next transition point where I'm uh, uh, opening packages. Well, it is uh, 16 hours and 24 minutes. Into the uh, 29th day of September. And I can't remember if I vlogged before. I think I vlogged uh, before I left the uh, you, uh, YouTube stroll. I'm back on it again. Just trying to sort of see what's around. This is more of a perusing than anything else. Because uh, it's also my day off. It's a day I just sort of sleep all day and let my body catch up. But we're here because we have a package opening. Uh, uh, every once in a while... Although, more, I get 95% of what I get comes in issue free. But there's every once in a while that there are issues that do pop up. And it does take some time to resolve them. And so this is one of these times. Okay, here, so let me get the package open. Okay, I think I've got a good enough... Uh, I think I've got a good enough uh, sort of opening here. Uh, apparently not. I have to uh, make some more incisions. It's like upper op operating. <laughs> make an incision. Hopefully the plastic will open, and sometimes it doesn't. And that's the case here. Is that the plastic isn't opening? Okay, here we go. Get to the point where we can get the package out. A little more adjustment. <laughs> a 
There we go. Now we can peel it back. And take a look inside. I know what it is. It's a mixer. I'm working on a new project. And this mixer will sort of uh, fill the need. Sometimes when you're doing sound and you're mixing a, a, a large variety of things, is the best idea is not to put everything all on one mixer, but rather to do sub-mixes to uh, sort of split up the uh, load and, uh, and then uh, have everything at a master mixer. So you have a master mixer, and then you have sub-mixers, depending on... Uh, the number of elements you want to mix, so that's this case here. And this is the mixer. This is what I got. So, let's see if I can get myself in here. <laughs> there we go. We do go. Oh, there we go. The glare is gone. I have to hold it at an angle so the glare goes away. So this is it here. Uh, I'm gonna go open it up and uh, uh, see what's inside. All right. Uh, it's an early call for observing tonight. It's uh, 23 hours and 14 minutes into the 29th day of uh, September, and we're already inside. That's because well, I broke down and I kind of ordered a pizza. <laughs> Every once in a while, you have to have your drug food fixed. I just didn't have anything prepared. Uh, for myself to have. Uh, usually I have something quick and easy, but I didn't even have that sort of set up and ready to go. Uh, the mixer I had ordered came in, in terms of the audio mixer. It, it's not working, so uh, I was just put a request in to get my money back. See how that goes. Usually things go pretty well, uh, but uh, lately they, they haven't. They haven't been going that well. There have been issues with uh, the uh, ordering from China. I don't not gonna not gonna put me off because the amount that the amount that I order from China and in terms of the amount I save, these little hiccups um, maybe amount to five percent of my orders, and so it doesn't even begin to bump up the uh, the amount of money that I say that I that I that I that I and in terms of bumping up, in terms of the percentage that I save, you know, basically would say, well, if I'm saving ninety percent in terms of what I would would ordinarily spend, the amount that I lose is within that well t that ten percent. So that's where it is. Uh, so even if I don't get the money back, uh, uh, because there's no way I can return it, there's there's just uh, I don't have the scooter anymore, so I don't really have any form of, more, form of mobility, so that kind of kills everything. So. <laughs> but anyway, as, as I was doing my work outside, uh, and a little bit before I started to take a look at t uh, TikTok, TikTok is so toxic, it's unbelievable. Uh... You begin to understand what Lionel is talking about because if Facebook is anything like TikTok, uh, and I have a feeling that it is, it's absolutely toxic. There are people, there, it's produced a wide variety of Karens. Uh, and that's, this applies to everybody. There's no males and females, not just, uh, not just females. And the thing is, they use, they, they don't have an understanding of of uh, of of uh, CVD, they don't have an understanding of it. They don't have any background in virology. They have no background in microbiology. They have no background in organic chemistry. And organic chemistry is what's needed in order to understand what's what's going on on with CVD. You need organic chemistry. It's not necessarily it's not necess necessarily a medical issue issue as much as it is a organic chemistry issue. Uh, understanding the mechanism of why something happens the way it does. Uh, in this case here, this is an issue of organic chemistry, not an issue of medicine. Uh, organic chemistry sits before medicine. 
a large chunk of the medicines you get start off in organic chemistry and then move their way, way forward uh, through the process of drug discovery and into what we call clinical life. Typically, a large chunk of the information that is produced during these, these experimentations, this is released through the journals of science and nature, uh, which are basically lab reports. They show you what's going on, who's doing what, uh, and, they, and what it is is that it, you, you get this because you're reading the lab report. You're not reading someone's uh, uh, description of the lab report or you know, a summary of it. You're actually reading the lab report itself. You're seeing how they got the data. You're seeing all the pertinent information. As I, bef as I said before, it's not a matter of what the answer is. It's how you got the answer. And the thing is, we're not talking about the answer. We're talking about an answer. Because you only, you never actually achieve the 100% the answer. You only approximate it. And this, this is, goes back to, uh, the, the, the underlying factors of calculus. The calculus is the mathematics of approximation. So therefore, with calculus, you can never prove anything. All you can do is approximate it. Uh, because that's, that's what the mathematics is. That's the mathematics of, of approximation. Now the thing is, is that when people argue back and forth, they, they, they say what my view is, and I say my view, they get mad at me and say, well, that's your opinion. I say, okay, well, here's my opinion. And I bring out the full science. I bring out the details. And within 10 minutes, like, I can't handle it. I can't handle it. That's too much information. Way too much. You're way over my head. And that's the end of the conversation. There's more than other, there's more than opinion. If you understand organic chemistry, there's more than just simply opinion out there. Uh, in terms of what you could have. The average argument back and forth, either on both sides of the aisle, are basically people who are posturing. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's about bravado. It's about their sense of status. And this is what this is about. It, 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 it the, and you begin to realize that there's almost nothing in terms of the science out there. Uh, but they pretend to be. They pretend to be experts. They pretend to be. And what happens is they'll, they'll toss off an argument with jokes and this and that. And, and it's not that the person coming across with this is, 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 is correct. It's, it's just what happens is that, I mean, someone will say, oh, we, we don't want to we don't want to hospitalize uh, the anti-vaxxers anymore. People who don't get the vaccine shouldn't be hospitalized. Well, you hospitalize uh, uh, cancer patients from, from from smoking as well. Well, no one forced them to smoke, and you know it, 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 it harms no one else but themselves. Well, that's not true. Is that a, a large? I know several people who uh, these are husbands. Who lost their wives? These were guys who were convinced they had their right to smoke. The same issue occurred when the, the smoking laws popped up. I have the right to smoke. I'm not harming anybody else. And so they kept smoking. The wives didn't smoke, but they kept smoking. Well, both of the wives uh, died of uh, lung can of, of of cancer. I would not I won't say lung cancer, but. And it, they knew, and and it was understood that this was caused by the secondhand smoke. Secondhand smoke has been proven to be toxic. Uh, oh, that guy was getting high. You, a dr you can't catch dr a dr you can't cr catch drug addiction from somebody. Well, yes, you can because if you're in a room where someone is smoking crack, or it, 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 this is, goes into uh, methamphetamines. The health department will not allow a house to be sell be sold. If they have evidence that they, that that they've been either smoking or, ma or, or 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 manufacturing methamphetamines, and that leads it leaves a solid chemical print, a footprint, uh, in the house or any location where it's been, because it just it stains, it permeates the wall, and so a person can become addicted to what we call the residual the, the residuals, uh, the the residue that comes out of the uh, of the drugs that are being, if it's anything that is being smoked, someone who breathes in that smoke will have an effect, will have an impact on whether they become addicted or not. And sometimes, and sometimes it just takes one puff, and that's all it is. And now you're hooked, and you're addicted. 
again, the person has no understanding of the person who sort of tosses this off and says, you know, oh, well, this anti-vax is wrong because you can't do this and you can't do that uh, with uh, these forms of addiction, these forms of, of, well, smoking is an addiction as well, but you have these medical consequences. Well, should we now be barring people because of these things? You know, there are homosexuals, gays, particularly men, uh, and I would say specifically men, who knew the risk of AIDS, but yet chose not to use any form of protection, and have caught, caught, got AIDS. They were infected with AIDS. Do you exclude them now from the hospital? Because, you know, they didn't use protection, and while well, it's costing everybody's money? And so, so what happens is that when you start applying and you, ask, you, you, you look at the questions, And the thing is, is that, well, you, you can't catch AIDS. Well, yes, you can. Why do you think medical people wear gloves and everything like that? The, the, to deal with an AIDS patient, they have to wear uh, the, this is where you have to have the personal protection equipment, the PPE. The same thing with Ebola. And the thing is, ironically enough, the, 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 the data from Ebola is coming back and it was found out that the UN, the World Health Organization, had been sexually abusing people in Africa. Through the program. I think this, this sexual abuse program, like Epstein, because Epstein was connected with the UN. So this stuff, if you understand what's going on, you really do have a background understanding. Then a large chunk of the, well, the anti-vaxxers are not correct in their understanding of things, because they don't understand the organic chemistry, but neither are the vaxxers. The vaxxers are as much conspiracy theorists as the anti-vaxxers are. There is no fun fundamental difference. There's just two sides of the same coin. And then the way it plays out is just unbelievable. Just seeing the level of animosity and, and, the, and the people taking joy in this argument. You know, sitting back and, you know, well, well, well I'll fix that guy. Well, did you? I mean, this is the same thing with, with what's going on with the police. I mean, uh, South Park hit it right on the head. There's Cartman uh, as a police officer on his uh, big wheel, and he's got the nice helmet and the, the shades, and his whole thing is, is uh, respect my authority. <laughs> well, that's what, you, that's what you see on all these takedown videos where police are taking people down illegally. This is what it is. It's all about respect my authority. Respect my authority. It is South Park over and over again. And they've known about this since the 1970s. This is the work of Dr. Philip Zimbardo. And it's not a, it's not a federal issue or a provincial issue or, or a state issue. It's a municipal, municipal issue. The municipal, the, the mayor and the, and, and the municipal council they're the ones who, de who determine what the training is, what the policies are in terms of policing. And so if you don't go after the mayor for what's going on, you can't go after the, the, the governor nor can, or, 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 the, or the premier, nor can you go after the prime minister or the, uh, or the president of the United States. Because it's not, it's not within their jurisdiction. But again, this is all completely ignored. Anyways, uh, I just finished uh, uh, at, uh, at Yowie Vlogs, and I'm now headed over to uh, It's Our Life on my YouTube stroll. I think things are pretty uh, much self-explanatory as, as you go along. But as I said, you see, that people have, have had, this, the, the whole situation, and this has been in history as well, always have these impacts that are un, un, sort of unpredictable because you're dealing with a macro, microcosm that has no particular direction. It's always all over the place from our perspective. It doesn't necessarily mean there isn't an overall direction. It just means that on the micro level, you can't make any predictions. And this is the way, a lot of times the way uh, quantum physics is. So as a, as a quantum physicist, to see them on the micro level, you see this level of what we call probability, this is par for the course. We are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen and Middle School for 